Right then, so this is a problem solving one in your, in your geometrics lesson on the 2024 pack, isn't it? So it says, Sarah carries out an experiment which involves using increasing amounts of a chemical. In her first experiment, she uses six grams, so A is six. In the second experiment, she uses 7.8. So I know that U2 is 7.8. Given that the amounts of the chemical used are in arithmetic, oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Because that would mean there that D is 1.8 grams. Uh, so we're double checking it. People get stuffed up on that. Find the total amount of chemical used in the first 30 experiments. So it's not the amount of chemicals that are used in the 30th experiment, it's up to and including 30. So it's telling me I want the sum of the first 30 together. Right then, so my sum formula is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So the sum of the first 30 is 30 over 2, 2 lots of 6, plus 30 take one is 29, lots of 1.8. Stick it in your calculator, and you get 900, oops, and 63 grams there. There you go, so that's the first one. That's quite nice, that's quite straightforward. So, right, so question two has got to be the one that has it. Part two has to be the one that's got you thinking. But it does say it's a problem solving. So instead, it's given that it's geometric. Ah. So we're saying that A is 6, U2, A, remember A is U1, is what was it? Is it 7.8? There. All right. So that must mean then that R is one term divided by the one before it. So that must mean that R is 1.3 according to the calculator. So I've got my A and I've got my R. Right, so it says it's got a total of 1800 grams. Show that N is the greatest number of experiments possible is that? Right, okay. So it's the same idea. It's how many experiments can I do before I use up the 1800 grams? So that's what I'm thinking here for part A. So I'm going to look at the sum of n. Now they've used capital N. I'll try and use that. So it's less than or equal to 1800. There. R is 1.3, so I'm going to use the, the 1.3, the R minus 1 formula. So A is 6. 1.3 to the power n minus 1. And 1.3 minus 1 is less than or equal to 1800. So this is where it kind of works to your advantage choosing the right equation. Because it can just get properly messy with negatives on the bottom when you're faffing around with your equalities. Right, so I've got 6, 1.3 to the power n minus 1 over 0 0.3. There. Right then. So, shall we multiply through a little bit? Let's get a less than or equal to 1800. Right, hang on one second, I'm just going to pause and I can return this in a bit. Back again. Right, so the 6 divided by 0 0.3 is 6 divided by 3 over 10. So 6 over 3 is 2, you get over 10 flips, so it gives me 20. Lots of 1.3 to the capital N. Minus 1 is less than or equal to 1800. Divide through by the 20, uh, it's going to give me a 90. Add 1 on, I've got choices, I can use log to base 1.3, or I can just use log of ln. Hmm. I'm going to be careful. 
If it's if the base is less than one, I need to flip the inequality. So I'm going to use I'm going to use base one point three. But here I need to be careful. So if the base is um, what am I about? Is it less than one? I think it's when the base is less than one. I might get that wrong though. I need to flip the equality. It might be that it's negative. I might have got that wrong. Doing it off the top of my head, coming back after the school holidays. So they would have 1.3 is less than or equal to log to base 1.3 of 91 is 1. Now that's that, that's kind of one way to do it for me. And that gets you, oops. Hang on, board's not quite right. And there is a, a key in your Mickey. Do you know what? I'm worried that I'm getting this wrong, so Mickey was about mistakes now. Ridiculous. So n is less than or equal to log to base 1.3 of 91. So n would give you less than or equal to 17.19. So n is 17 experiments. Right, so that was a, this is B. I'm going to do it with just using ln. And I'll show you. So if I just take ln, I've got ln of 1.3 to the power n is less than ln of 91. But the power at the front, n, times by ln of 1.3 is less than ln of 91. So n will be ln of 91 divided by ln of 1.3. Now you can't combine that. People get the log laws wrong. If it was ln of 91 minus ln of 1.3, you could combine them from ln of 91 over 1.3. But well, that don't work. Right now, this is a bit this bit here. I'm going to confirm that it's definitely a log. So your log graph is negative for anything below 1. So if this if this bit here was log of 0 0.8, it would give me a negative value which would mean that I would need to flip the inequality. So this, what I've said here, is, is perfectly true. I have not got myself confused. If the base is less than one, flip the inequality. So did that kind of make sense? So if that was ln of 0 0.8 instead of ln of 1.3, it would give a negative value out on the log graph. So you would have to indeed flip the inequality. Uh, as it happens, you don't need to. And that gives me the same one. Right? Okay. The same one gives us 17. And 17. That takes us eight minutes. I want to consolidation exercise three. So at the end of the third lesson, well done.